Hello guys and welcome into Bad Parenting number one. This one about Mr. Redface, a new indie horror game that came out a couple days ago from developer, I don't know if it's 2002 or 2002, whatever they go by, but this is their first indie horror game, their debut indie horror game, so I'm excited to see what that is all about. So let's get ahead and jump on in. Oh yeah. I Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today is my birthday. Oh, oh, of course, I know that. Then where is my gift? Um... Have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, Mom! Whoa. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working, and my shift ended late. Bullshit. You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Hey, little shit. Get back to your room. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Can we have a conversation about your eyes, though? Okay. Um... All right, sounds good. Don't don't hit each other. I don't need that. This is not my room. Not my room, my bad. All right, whatever. Well, maybe it's my room. Oh, they have separate beds. Maybe that is my room. You guys have separate beds? Why do you hate each other? Why are we here? It sounds like Mr. Redface needs to come take care of my parents. I see, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy! Mr. Redface, don't do it! Mr. Redface, I've been good! Hi! Thanks, give me a toy! Mr. Redface? Hello? I'm not sure I like Mr. Redface. I could be wrong, though. He could be a good chap. I mean, the the dad, I don't know if it's my real dad or if it's a stepdad, but, I mean, Mr. Redface needs to do something about that guy. Let me tell you. Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Ha! Look what I got, bitch! Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right. My master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. 
That sounds wonderful! Do you want to play something with me? Hmm. My master stored my toys in the closet. Could you get them for me? Absolutely. The closet is still stuck! Can you try that again? Absolutely. I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating, but I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. You feel a little weird when you get older, though. All right, let's go get food. Don't open that door. They're probably sleeping separately. You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing. Don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Mom. Alright. Are you holding something else? I am. Oh, there you go, bud. Hey! Um... Oh, there we go. Gotta warm it up. We almost ate it cold, Ron. Oh, okay, dokie. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Sure. Yes, please. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. I mean, I'd get tired of it eventually, Ron. Wow, that's amazing! What else can you do? Good job, Ron. Oh, are you, are you drinking that? <laughs> Mr. Redface is getting drunk. Dad! Mr. Redface is getting drunk! What? What just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. What did you say? Took him away. Not only did he take him away, he's also... Mr. Redface is just a violent drunk. That's what we found out today. Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He was a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. Very nice of him. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Alright.
need like a, we need a way in. You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. Alright. There's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate the, the, this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Oh. This radio will work like an elevator, but you need to select a freak. You need to select the frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. I'm going in. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. Oh, okay. Hi. I don't... Bye! I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Alright, thanks, Ron. I'm sure Ron will do a good job. Uh, Dad? Hello? Alright, it's probably over there. Okay. Dad. Uh, hi. Um, I'm here for... Dad? What's up? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry, so he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He has gigantic eyeballs. He often yells. Still not enough inf information. Sometimes he hits me and slaps too. And that's all. The door is behind you. I think we need to kick- I think we need- I think we need to hunt down this Bruce so we can kick his ass. What's up? Boo. <laughs> he just got startled. Oh yeah, I'm so scared. Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Alright, peace out. The fuck is wrong with these people? Are you... Oh, it's a foot. I thought they had a horn in their ass. Alright, see you later. Uh, Bruce, are you okay? Um, you're living in a checker world. Dad? Please stop punishing me. It's me, Dad. Please stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home, or my, uh, Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please stop punishing me. Uh. Spell. <laughs> Damn it. Can I become a doll? Don't turn your head all the way around. Lady! Oh, hey, what's wrong with you? Is that normal? Is that supposed to happen? Why are you hiding in the closet? 
Mr. Redface has taken Dad! Oh. Well, that's a good thing, then. I'm not joking. It's a long story, let me explain. How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The doll? Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No? Sigh. I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Oh, okay. Why do I look like- why did I look like a doll? Um. Hello? Mr. Redface, no! Oh, I passed out. What just happened, son? Are you alright? Mr. Redface, you hurt me. Are you okay? Do you feel better now? Yeah, Mom. It's Mr. Red... It's alright. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom? I promise. Now, go back to sleep. Yes, Mom. Don't you fuck with me, Mr. Redface. Mom? <sighs> You've broken the promise again. Um. Where am I going? Over to my room? Okay. I take my medicine? So apparently he's having hallucinations through his medicine is what's being said. Or implied at least. <gasps> what the fuck happened? Doll run! What happened to you? My master beat the shit out of me. Oh no! He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. You should run away, because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mom and my dad too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? It says spell. I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. Th that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly, go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. You got it. Oh, right. I'm coming in. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. I took cover. Mr. Redface, die, motherfucker.
น้ำโอเค let's leave What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. They better be nice to me. Kiss. Dad, Mom, you are free now. Ow! You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar. You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And, what's, and what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home, leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a whore, you're lowering yourself even below that. Stop it! One more word, and your eyeballs are gonna come completely out? Fine, you and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. Oh, hi. I'm sitting on the table for some reason. Oh, that was him drinking? Okay. Mr. Redface! Right from all the alcohol. I will let this happen. No, no, no. This cannot be true. I'm very sorry, Ron. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. Why wouldn't Mom take me with her to begin with? This is me. Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to, the, to reality. I've tried many times, many ways, to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick, tock, boom, your memory resets back to the starting point, which is the night before... Which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have you... have I been dead? Fourteen days. It can't have been that long. 
what really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. Get him! Go home with me, Dad. What about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right, because she's only at home late at night. But if it is daytime... Son? Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? You just dropped something, ma'am. What is that? It's a business card for a motel. But I'm not sure it's mine. We helped catch Dad. Good. We solved our own murder. Killer father arrested. Good. Fuck that bug eyed motherfucker. Sitting in the fire, man. Or maybe it's A-N-H or on? Annie? I don't know how it's pronounced. Bad parenting number two coming soon. But that is bad parenting number one, Mr. Redface. A very serious subject matter for a game. That unfortunately, scenarios like that happen in real life, which is fucking awful. But when it comes to the game itself, outside the seriousness, obviously, I really enjoyed it. I like how they intertwined. They re they connected all the beats of the story together in the end. I th really thought that was good, and I can't wait to see what chapter two or story two of this series has to offer. But let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye, guys.